Hey everyone, this is another video about retrogaming stuff and today we are going to check our, uh, my old uh, PS2. This is actually one of the first console I've modded like 15 years ago, something like that. Yeah, the, the goal is to um, remove the old uh, HDD. Uh, this is still an IDE, um, uh, I think it's 200 gig and replace it with a SATA. So, I have the, uh, this is uh, inside a, a three and a half inch. I'm going to put a two and a half inch. Uh, this is, I think it's a 300 something. It's come from uh, an old PS3. And I have uh, this kit uh, to uh, put, to remove the uh, IDE connector and put in a uh, Sayaleta. I have some spacers in aluminum. Uh, to hold the um, the disc with uh, some uh, stands here, and uh, I want to check uh, since it's uh, one of the first mod I've uh, made. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to rework the um, mod inside. I think it's a Matrix Infinity, but uh, I used uh, Kiner wire. Uh, so yeah. Let's take a look. So yeah, it's uh, it's an old uh, Western Digital. Yeah, yeah it's a two hundred uh, gigabyte. So yeah, we have to transfer that to the new one, and this one is going to go to the retro PC So uh, one thing, uh, this is totally uh, ir irrelevant uh, for what we're going to do, but uh, back then uh, the space between the IDE connector and the Molex connector uh, was not the same between uh, the hard drive, uh, depending on the brand you, you were using. Uh, so at the time you will have to uh, remove the screw here and uh, cut a bit the uh, shield to push on the side and have enough space to plug your hard drive. And now I suppose I will have like the, the, the SATA connector and the power connector here. There you go. So I don't think I'm going to need this plug anymore and this one should be just simple as that. Okay, so you pull There you go and I should be able to place the new one I can't even remember where I bought this this, uh, this uh, adapter. Not even where I bought it. I bought it. I think it was like on Deal Extreme or something. It was like oh my god, like five year something like that. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, oh, I still need the. I still need the ribbon. That makes sense.
Hmm. Sini. Maybe I have some spacer. Ah, okay. That makes that would make sense. So I would say I will put those there. So I will have the second one there. This one I can totally go all the way. Something is wrong with this one. lights the plastic for the lights okay so why on hers okay now we're good there Oop. you don't move okay so now this is going there then I put the washer on the top okay and then I can put those screw okay let's do this yeah much better There you go. So now I have to manage to hide all the wires. Hide on under the ribbon, but the cable, this is going to be a bit more complicated. Oh, up on the camera. Yeah, something like that should do it. Okay, so now I have to put back the shielding. So I don't know which side is which. So I have only two big stands. So I suppose one side is going to, to be flush and the other side is going to have the stand. So. Okay, so this one, is not like that so I suppose this is yeah makes sense makes sense so oh, I have uh, I have some uh, spacer 
Yeah, we have uh, we have plastic washers. So let's do like that. Job. I put the washer here. I'm going to. There you go. No. There. Now the other side. Then it should fit inside. Yes. Okay, this is really, really, really tight. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fitting. No, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to be. No, even like that, it's not. It's not going to work. I need to remove uh, I'm going to remove the washer here because I don't have enough space to slide oh geez yeah off you go so is it better without the washer Yeah, much better. Way much better.
So this is how I uh, was making them back then. Uh, I eventually try to re-cable everything. I will check if I don't have anything more uh, recent for this motherboard. And uh, yeah, so I found uh, the diagram for uh, the my motherboard, my, my revision of the motherboard. So what I'm going to do is to remove everything. Uh, hopefully I should uh, be able to remove it without uh, destroying the pad. Here it's, um, this is more complicated because I use like um, uh, super glue. So yeah, I hope, hopefully I should be able to remove everything. And uh, yeah, I think it's super glue here too. So yeah, wish me luck. So I mostly finished to remove everything. Super glue, not really a good idea. Uh, we try to clean everything, eventually with the back of an exacto to uh, remove everything. As most of them are on the ground, so I don't think I'm going to risk anything. So I know this is not really uh, looking really well uh, on the microscope, but I can assure you on a regular view you barely see anything 
now. So I think I'm pretty clean correctly the board. It's time to redo the mod properly. I don't know what kind of uh, solder I used back then, but uh, it was pretty dirty. And now I have the microscope to see uh, where exactly I'm soldering. So yeah, let's do this. So it's not really pretty, uh, maybe some of you will prefer the previews with the, be the, the, the beautiful uh, uh, stuff but uh, yeah this one is not uh, just a bit of uh, hot glue just to hold it when I, when I make the, the, the connection. Here I don't know how I'm going to, to hold them, maybe um, some tape. Just here, just one strip of uh, of Captain tape. Same thing here, just to hold everything. Not even sure about that. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, reassemble everything, and I will uh, I will change the battery because I don't think I'm going to reopen the 
the position uh, soon uh, enough. Now, now I have redone everything. Um, and yeah, we'll change the pad here. Which are getting yeah, a bit uh, a bit old by a new one. New one, I'm not even sure it is going to work anyway. some uh, capacitor to be replaced So I'm back. Yeah, everything fine perfectly. Uh, I got some uh, cold sweat because uh, the hard drive was not plugged correctly, so I didn't boot, and then I had trouble to access to the Matrix Infinity uh, menu. But yeah, everything is sorted. Uh, it's working. Uh, no problem whatsoever. It's reading games. Maybe I'm going to open the um, drive and uh, lubricate the access because it's making a lot of noise. Yeah, apart from that, uh, it's working great. Uh, I can hear the disc spinning and then cut because I don't have anything. Well, it's not an official uh, Sony hard drive. Still going to see what I can find with that. Yeah, uh, next is going to back up the old hard drive, put on the new one, uh, reassemble everything. I'm not sure if I'm going to reassemble everything. Ah. I'm going to reassemble everything and not on camera, but uh, yeah, uh, next!
So for uh, the hard drive, of course, I've already made a, back made a backup for my old hard drive, so I won't need it. This is the new one. <coughs> the new. One. This is the new one. This is where we're going to copy our stuff. To uh, work, you're going to um, need um, a USB uh, or something to connect your hard drive. I'm using this one because it's in. Uh, USB free, you can have, you can find one uh, pretty cheap on, uh, on Amazon. This one is pretty cool because you have um, classic IDE. It's like 2.5 IDE, and it's got SATA and of course an external uh, power source uh, for um, IDE uh, drive. Uh, so it takes a, a plus uh, 12 volt and USB three connection. Uh, so. As I said, I've already made a backup of my whole hard drive, so I don't need it anymore. I'm going to put it to keep it, uh, and when I finish the transfer, I'm going to format it and put on my uh, retro PC. So just have to plug it on SATA. And over, and it will be detected on my uh, PC. So uh, as you can see my uh, hard drive is uh, detected and uh, now we are going to uh, need some um, program to work. If I open it up we'll see I have absolutely nothing on my uh, local drive. Uh, so yeah this is the game I made the backup and this is the software we're going to use. We're going to need uh, WinHip uh, which is going to be our program to upload uh, stuff. We are going to use raw copy, which is going to uh, deploy the image from a free HD boot. So first we're going to unzip both of them. So yeah, I have a uh, Winip open. I'm going to run it in the administrator. Now we're going to select our drive. And as you can see, I have uh, four. So this is my main uh, SSD on this PC. This is uh, the uh, two terabytes of uh, raw st uh, storage uh, still on this PC. And this one, this 300 gigabyte, this is the drive we're going to use. So as you can see, it's telling me like this is not uh, a PS2 drive, so we're going to, f to format it into PS2 drive. I'm going to use HGLoader 84 bit. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay, so uh, the issue was I still have the uh, FAT32 uh, um, partition. So I just remove it uh, uh, on the, uh, I don't know the English uh, uh, name for the uh, computer, well, on, the, on your disk system. And uh, yeah, then you can proceed to uh, format without any problem. There you go. So I should be able uh, to add or to um, extract images when you have a drive uh, recognized by uh, Windows uh, heap but for now we're going to deploy the images for free HD loader so we're going to use HDD raw copy yes I agree so we're going to select the source uh, if you already deploy image uh, for let's say Raspberry Pi this is exactly the same thing I'm going to select an image just Select the image you want, and then you choose a target. We're going to uh, deploy it on our USB, and then start. Yes, I'm sure. So now uh, this is going to uh, take some time. Okay, so this is. Uh, finish. Don't click on start because this is going to review again. Just going 
to close it. And now we should be able to plug it on our uh, PlayStation and see if it's working. So uh, when you have, uh, you know it's uh, working, just launch WinHip. And as you can see, I can now uh, see my PS2 drive. And uh, yeah, don't forget to put in a 40-bit HD loader or else you're going to have uh, half of the size. So now I can uh, put some game. I'm just going to put one to see, uh, to show you how it's uh, working. I'm going to put uh, Okami, for example. Start is going to uh, ask you some compatibility and stuff. Uh, if you like, this is much mostly patches for game which uh, no uh, be known um, uh, tr uh, have trouble to run uh, on a hard drive. But most of the time, you don't have to touch anything. And uh, yeah, after the, from that, this is uh, just copy, and uh, the speed will depend on the USB type you're going to plug it, your adapter and your, of course your hard drive but as you can see this is pretty fast oh, there you go so this one is done so I'm just going to make a jump cut install all the others and uh, then we're going to plug everything on the console so basically yeah the mod uh, the Matrix Infinity is working the uh, free HD uh, boot is working, but not uh, the same. Uh, both at the same time. I will try to show you. I will explain why I still have the hood of the console open. So you will see. So this is currently. This is currently a uh, plug to uh, Frame Master. Uh, in RGB and you will see like I have the free Mac boot everything is fine you're going to uh, see the main menu there you go and the problem is because of my uh, matrix infinity I cannot go I cannot launch anything like if I try to go to uh, open PSD loader, I'm going to have a black screen. And if I go to the uh, free HD boot configuration, it's going to make a black screen. I will try to show you. There you go. And you enter. And that's it. Nothing. You have absolutely nothing on screen so apparently this is a known issue and the only thing uh, to make it work it's either uh, remove the mods remove the, the mod chip or install not on the hard drive but on um, on the memory card so the only thing I found to make it work okay we're going to deactivate uh, the mod chip. I have only one arm because I'm holding the camcorder. Ah, uh, I'll try like that. Okay, so to deactivate the cam the um, mod chip, I just have to hold start and boot. So I should have on screen something like disabled. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Come on, just have to show disable. There you go. So now, uh, until I don't uh, power off the console, uh, the mod chip is disabled. So I will just reset and now you will see it will boot yeah, you can hear the hard drive and now it's going to boot properly 
So no difference when the chip is uh, actually still activated, but you will see that if I go to open PS2 loader, this time it's going to work. There you go. So from that, everything is working. All the game are working. Even uh, Shadow of Colossus, which was not working with the uh, uh, free HD loader. So yeah, it's it's really really great uh, soft mode, but not compatible with my Matrix Infinity 1.93. So yeah, I don't know yet what I'm going to do right now. I can just deactivate it. Uh, this is a PAL console. I bring it from France when I came to uh, Canada. So I still have PAL game. Uh, I have some uh, US game, so I need the mod chip to play imported game. So the other solution uh, would be to install it on the on the memory card, but I have only one with all my saves like uh, Guitar Hero 2 and uh, Rock Band. I cannot format it, so maybe I will just buy another one. Anyway, if you want to install the Matrix Infinity on the first part of this video, this is still valid, this is still working. If you want to install free Mac boot, uh, well, free HD, free HD boot uh, with the new package, it's still valid. Just both of them not working. Yeah, uh, at least, uh, well, I know now um, what's going on and uh, this is going to be like that for for now so i hope you like uh, this video thanks for watching and uh, see you soon